Welcome everybody. This is another tutorial on uh, using Dreams for the PS4 and I want to show you we're going to go up here to our gadgets and we're going to uh, put in a blank puppet and we can just now go in and press play mode and we can now run this little puppet here through this little maze. Alright, now this is the standard view uh, that you get uh, with the puppet. Uh, but you might want to sometimes do something where the camera is at a different angle. And uh, I want to show you how to do an easy top-down camera. And we just... Uh, now I've done this before where you, I've taken a camera and I've attached it to a movable uh, uh, square and uh, so on. But this, this is a much easier way. And we're just going to go into edit mode. We're going to click on this um, puppet here. Click on the puppet logic. And then up here into the puppet logic, we're going to click on control logic, the controller. And then we're going to go over here to the controller sensor. When you go into the controller sensor, you'll see that there are some uh, different pages with various options. And the fourth one over is a picture of a camera. And it is the camera uh, that is attached to the puppet. And we can change the camera height and so on. So um, this is the height of the camera. Uh, when it's possessed, so we can let's leave that at 46 just now, just to so we can compare it later. And the camera distance, we're going to make that uh, oh, let's make that say uh, eight meters. The camera tilt, this is the main thing. Uh, we want this tilt <clears throat> to go as far 57 is as high as it'll go, and we'll put that there. And the field of blue will leave the same. So the only thing we've really changed here is the camera distance and the camera tilt. Now we go out of this and out of this and now when we press play we'll have a different camera view and press our uh, get this activated and we see now we have an overhead view and we can change how high the camera is and uh, the field of view and so on so let's do that let's just for as an example let's go in here go back to edit mode Go back here to the little puppet and we'll scope in puppet logic, controller logic, and over here to the controller sensor. And we're going to click on the camera again. Um, now, the camera height, uh, we can change that to say 60. Um, camera distance, we can make that, let's make that 10 and see what the difference is there. And uh, the field of view, uh, let's make that, uh, and let's go down to, say, 50 on that. Okay, let's see what those changes look like when we go back into play mode. And here we are in play mode. R2 activates our little guy here, and we can see that uh, we're... A little higher up with the camera. Let's make it. Let's go up really high. Let's go to see what we can, how we can make this thing really change. Um, you can play with these settings, uh, but the, the the main thing I want to show you is just how easy it is to set up a top-down camera, um, and how simple that is to do. Whoops! I want to delete that. <laughs> I did it again. All right. Let's. Uh, this over here and go to camera and um, let's put that camera height way up here let's put that camera height way up at uh, say uh, 17 and we'll leave the camera height at 60 oh, we can put that let's put that up a little higher too okay uh, now let's see what this is these are quite exaggerated you're not going to want to probably um, put them in, a, in an actual uh, game, you're probably not going to want to do that. But let's just see what the difference is when we go in here and press play, R2, and now we see we're much higher up. And um, so anyway, that's a very easy way, very quick and easy way to do a, a top-down camera view. And uh, it's, it's fun to make games that involve um, little mazes like that 
and you can have enemies in there to avoid. There's all kinds of things you can do um, with creating a, a grid maze and then putting a character with a top-down view. So I hope you found that helpful, and uh, we'll see you another time with another tutorial on dreams.